Siemens Farms is a poultry egg farm located in Roseland, Manitoba. We have 24,000 laying hens and 13,000 pullets, which are a term for birds from a baby chick until they lay their first egg. Hey guys, my name is Harley Siemens. I'm one of the owners here at Siemens Farms. Come on inside, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit about what we do here on a daily basis. Let's go. When we come inside our barn, the first thing we wanna do is change our shoes. We wanna make sure that we're not bringing anything from outside into our barn to harm our hens. This is called biosecurity practices. The next step is we wanna make sure that our clothes are good for going inside the barn. So what we do is we issue out these biosecurity suits that I'm gonna go put on to make sure that we're good to go inside of our barn. We're now all suited up, ready to go into the biosecure area. As you can see this yellow sign here, it says biosecurity in effect. We meet all the guidelines, we can now enter the farm. So come on! The first thing that you guys are seeing here, this is our packing room. This is where we're gonna pack all of the eggs. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna have all the eggs from all the conveyors come in here to the pack. So we have two farms here on our farm that are consisting of layer hens. The layer hens are the type of hens that are just for laying eggs, okay? They start laying eggs at 19 weeks old. And those birds are gonna lay one egg a day for their life. And it's our job every morning to come in here and gather those eggs. This machine here will grab all the eggs and these eggs are going to go into these rows here. These rows are going to slowly pack all the eggs and it's going to put it into a tray. So you see over here, those trays will go onto the conveyor belt where we can nicely stack them. Once all the eggs are gathered, we want to store them into our cooler room. Our cooler room is the most important spot on our farm because that's where we're going to store all the food product. We are certified by CFIA, Canadian Food Inspection Agency. And it's very important to keep this cooler between 10 to 13 degrees because we want to make sure when you guys get those eggs in the stores that those eggs are fresh and they are at the supreme quality. So come and take a look. These pallets are totally full. They have 900 dozen eggs on that one pallet. These pallets are gathered by us and they're picked up twice a week. Every Monday and every Friday, we will have a driver come. He picks up these eggs and he brings them to a grading station. At the grading station, those eggs will get lightly washed, they'll get weighed, and then they will get distributed to you guys at the stores. They'll be at grocery stores, they'll go to restaurants, all different types of places across Manitoba. And a really cool fact is there's 170 egg farmers like myself across Manitoba, and all our eggs that you guys eat in Manitoba are only from Manitoba egg farmers, nowhere else in the world. And here is our mechanical room. So I like to call this the brains of our operation. So as you can see to here on your right hand side, this is our water system. Our water system is very accurate. We want to make sure that those birds are given the best quality water so they can produce us good eggs and also keep them healthy. What happens is, is the water comes in and we meter it. So we know exactly how many liters that those birds are drinking a day. Do you want to guess how many liters a bird drinks a day? They drink 140 milliliters every single day. On our farm, we go through 7,000 liters of water every day to feed our birds. The water comes in, it gets filtered to make sure it's nice and clean, and then it goes off to the birds inside the barn. 
Over here, you can see our heating system. This is all for in-floor heat. We want to make sure these birds stay nice and warm, of course, in winter time. So there's special pipes in the floor to heat it so that the birds stay nice and warm and that they don't get too cold in winter time. Over here is our Maximus controller. So this is like our computer. The computer runs the whole entire operation. So as you can see here, it is a, just a touch screen like an iPad. You can see it gives me all these different options and different things that are running on our farm. You can see here it says chimney one in room one, that fan is running. It is running at 76%. It is drawing one amp of electrical current and it is at open at 69%. This controller here controls everything. It takes into account what the temperature is outside, what's the temperature inside the barn, and what is the desired temperature that we would like to have. This machine then will let in X amount of air or heat the air by that amount to make sure that those birds are kept nice and warm and nice and safe. Also, this controller is going to adjust their lights. It's going to have a sunset mode and a sunrise mode so that in the morning it slowly brings the lights up just like a sunrise, but we're used to. And at nighttime, it's a sunset mode, slowly dims the lights so they can nicely go to sleep. This machine is also made to monitor. So what it will do is depending on how much feed that the girls eat every single day, it will send me a report saying these birds ate this amount of feed because all of the feed, they're on big bins, they're all scaled so we know exactly the amount of food that they are taking in every day. And this system is gonna track all of that. So what another really cool feature is, is that this system here can be accessed on my phone, on my iPad, on my laptop, wherever I am in the world, I can monitor what's going wrong on my farm or what's going right. If something goes wrong, this thing will call us, it will send us a text and an email and give us an alarm saying something is wrong, we need to come fix it. We're gonna go look inside of the barn right now. As we go there, I thought I'd share a few fun facts with you guys. So did you know that white chickens lay white eggs and brown chickens lay brown eggs. What it actually has to do with is the color of their skin. The color of their skin shows by their earlobe. Depending on the color of that earlobe will tell me what type of shell color that hen is gonna lay. But they are nutritionally the exact same because whatever we feed the birds, that's what they put into their eggs. Also, in our farm here, we only have female chickens. A male chicken, rooster, they don't lay any eggs. So it doesn't help us here on the farm. So all these chickens we're about to see, they are all female. We're about to go inside the barn. And again, we have to follow a couple more biosecurity measures. Every time I go into one of my barns, I change my shoes once again. These are these birds' homes, so we want to be respectful of their home and make sure that we're not going to startle them by anything. That's why on our farm we like to wear the color blue. We wear blue because they get used to that and they know when we come in that that's a familiar color and a familiar person, so they don't get startled. So let's go inside. chickens here behind you. These birds are only 23 weeks old. They're pretty new. You can see they look really, really good. These birds in here, we have about 11,500 just in this barn. On my whole entire farm, we have about 25,000 hens. They all lay eggs for you guys. So, you want to come a little bit closer here. As we enter where they are, you can see they nicely move for me. They're not going to be startled, but they get used to you, and that's why they're not going to freak out. So these birds here are in an aviary free run system. In Manitoba, there's four different types of systems. 
There's a conventional system, an enriched system, free run, and free range. A conventional system is the older type of system that has the birds in enclosed uh, measures, and that's where they stay for most of their life. They have fresh access to feed and water, and also they have manure removal so that they don't get dirty and they stay nice and clean. Then you have the enriched style system. The enriched style system is a bigger system than the conventional. They have perch space, they'll have drinkers and water and all that good stuff, same as feed. They even have scratch pads for them to scratch on and nest boxes for them to go lay their eggs in. That's also an enclosed counter and that's a newer system that a lot of farmers are going to. The free run system, which we are in now, allows the birds to be free and roam around inside the barn. As you can probably see behind me, there'll be birds flying up and down on top of this system. A couple of cool things about this system is, is you have these curtains here. These curtains are for their nesting box. Right now, the nests are closed, so the birds aren't allowed to go in there. But in the morning when they wake up, these nests open up and the birds go in there to lay their eggs. That allows us to gather them. You can see the birds are allowed to free roam on the floor. They love to scratch and they love to lie down and dust bathe. You'll see they like to fly back up because in the system is where their feed is. You can see this is the feed line here. And in here is gonna be different feed for them to eat. On top here, we got their water. All they do is they peck the water, and you can see it's nice and wet. They have access to that all the time. What the birds really like to do is we call perch. So if you look up on top there, on this bar here, you'll see a couple of birds are sitting on there. They perch on there, and that's where they like to sleep. So at nighttime, we've trained all these birds to jump up onto the system, off the floor, and perch. So that in the morning when they wake up, they're close to the nest box, and that's when they go and lay their eggs. The other type of system that we have here in Manitoba is called free range. Free range means that the birds are allowed to go outside, of course, weather permitting. When it's cold outside, rainy, windy, they're not gonna let those birds outside because we wanna make sure that they stay safe and healthy and that they don't get harmed. The inside of those barns look similar to this, but they'll have little doors on the outside to allow those birds to go outside. And then they have a green space area where they can peck in the grass and then they come in at night. Thank you guys so much for listening to me. I hope you learned something and eat eggs. Thank you so much.